This is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special guest today is a talented singer-songwriter out of the Netherlands. Her name is Nomi Shania. Did I get mm-hmm. that right? Shania. Yeah. Hey, Shania, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for joining the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Yeah, I'm excited. It's fun. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, your management team sent me some information um, about a new release you have called Fallen. Um, and we're going to get into, I found it interesting on your inspiration for that song, but we're going to get into that just a little bit later. Uh, but for those who don't know anything about you, Nomi, uh, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm Nomi Shania. I am a singer songwriter, but most of all, I'm a producer. And yeah, I just like to write my feelings and make it into a whole song, you know, like I love to produce and get the feelings into the production also, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm from the Netherlands, I'm Dutch, my English is not like, but you know, (laughs) I try. Okay, Um, so how did you get started in music? Um, well, my mom is a singer and when I was young, I really liked that, to watch that, you know, and I think I got it from her mostly. My dad is also very musical, so, but yeah, like when I was 16, I started studying sound design and because I just really wanted to, you know, not depend on other producers. Um, because producers mostly don't really understand what I want. So then I was like, well, I'm going to study it myself. You know, I'm going to do it all on my own. So, yeah. Okay. And you said your mom is a singer. Did your mom, did your mom sing professionally or? Yeah. Yeah. She's a performer and well, in the Netherlands, she's kind of famous. Not really, but she used to be very famous here. Yeah. Okay. And what type of music does she do does she do r&b or pop what kind of she does mostly um like soul you know and blues and she also has like this jazz band yeah she has her own style so now do you have any other siblings that are in music or it's just uh just you well i have siblings but they're you know my oldest sibling is 16 now and he's a producer also. And then I have my uh, other sibling, like I have <laughs> I have six siblings. So, um, well, the youngest is one or something. So I don't think he's um, into music yet, but I think they will all be into musical. Music, really? Yeah. Okay. All right, good. Um, so you're, like I said, you're from the Netherlands. Um, tell us about the um some of your inspirations who who did you look up to um growing up in terms of musically besides your mom perhaps um wait sorry what was the question yeah i'm thinking about your inspirations you like you do like your um description in your um the information i got sent said you do r&b music so who were some of your influences um yeah definitely the 2000s time you know like brandy um timbaland dark child is my favorite producer i really love his songs like and also in yari in yari is my one of my favorite artists out there um she gave me every inspiration for writing mostly yeah okay well those are some pretty good uh, artists to look up to uh tell me let's talk about fallen um but let me ask you before before we get started on that, 
when I got the information from uh, your team, they said that you are a trap slash R&B artist. Yeah. I'm not familiar with the term trap. So tell me what trap music is. Um, well, it's something that came out of hip hop, I guess. Um, I feel like I'm mostly an R&B, R&B hip hop producer, but trap is more like the electronic hip hop. You know what I mean? Like it's very, um, you know, with the 808s and the hi hats. You know, it's really. I'm I'm thinking of an artist with like uh, Trippy Red. He's like very. Tra- Do you know Trippy Red? I do not. I've heard the term, but I haven't. I heard the name, but I haven't. Um... It's like this whole new genre, I guess, that came out of hip hop with like a whole lot of artists. You know, they yeah, they inspire me. So my first single was called "For You," and that's more like with the trap influences. Okay. So uh, okay, I got it. Um, so. Was that your first? Well, let me ask you: How long you been? Um, how long you been doing music professional? Um. Well, um, I think since 2017. Now. Okay. All right. So that's three years. Okay. And your first song? I'm sorry. You said your first song was your first release for was. For you, yeah. For you, okay. Um. um I started um, doing music professionally uh, when I was on SoundCloud, with just like beats, you know, without me singing on it. Okay. But in 2017, I, I started really like singing on my own tracks. Okay. And uh, Fallen, um, now is, is Fallen part of an EP or just, is that released really just a single or? Yeah, it's just a single, yeah. Okay, now do you anticipate um, releasing an EP as well, or you just plan on doing just like singles for right now? I think singles mostly, but I was thinking about an EP with like dance hall music and stuff. Um, just like a one time thing. <laughs> um, but I think singles right now are pretty um, normal because it's like people don't really have patience anymore you know so they're just like oh cool it's just one track i'm gonna listen to one track but i'm not gonna listen to a whole album or ep you know okay sadly because i i like eps and albums but yeah okay um so uh fallen is out already correct and how has it been received have you gotten some good feedback from it or well, yeah, um, I, yeah, you know, look, I'm not really big yet, <laughs> but course, yeah, I, I'm trying to be, you know, but Falling really um, was the first track where I got real in the lyrics. I think I, I really express my deeper thoughts and maybe people like that more instead of like just you know like love songs or something so yeah i got really good feedback from that okay and um fallen um i read i listened to the song i actually liked the song um and when i read the description of it you seem to be uh talking to the younger generation about life um and some of the entrapments that come with that being young. Uh, talk about that a little bit, because I thought that was an interesting uh, introspective um, concept that you took on. Yeah, so I'm myself uh, Generation Z, and I feel like, I know a lot of millennials, but I feel like the millennials and the Generation Z is kind of like very um, dependent on electronics and like, laptop your phone your ipad like everyone is using that and i don't really think it's healthy you know what i mean so i feel like all the new stuff like the new influences like the songs with like the drugs and stuff you know like 
I think that's unhealthy for the, the newer generations. And I think they really turned out to be like that also. You know what I mean? Like they turn out to be bad influences on the next generations. So like when they will be parents, <laughs> their kids will have like bad <laughs> influence. I don't know, like I feel like it's unhealthy and we have to stay connected to the earth and like maybe some meditation, some, you know, and they are getting lost. So that's why I wrote like millennials are falling, you know. Okay. Now, um, you are, are you 20, 21? Because you said in 20. 20, okay. Um, so I'm assuming that you maybe perhaps experienced some of that with maybe your friends and family. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, so that's interesting. Um, so you're, seems so like you're very conscious of what's going on around you. Um, and you put it into music, which was great. Um, is yeah. that the route? you want to take or is it just kind of a one-off where you did this and then you're going to uh, you know expand in other areas as well when you start doing more music um yeah i definitely want to expand but this is really the first song where i really am who i am you know and i definitely experienced some weird shit like with like you know smoking weed and stuff like you really get too disconnected from what's really going on what's reality and also with my phone like sometimes i'm just too like i really want to put it off but i can't because i have school <laughs> on my phone i have work on my phone you know it's crazy like i can't even turn off my phone it's like it's one it's like part of you like so yeah i really want to write more about that in the future yeah, I, I agree. Um, yeah, I'm the same way with my phone. I feel like I got to take it everywhere with me. I might yeah. miss out on something. I know that's probably not the healthiest thing, but, you know, it is where we are. So, yeah, no, definitely speak. not only this generation, but oh, most like, definitely. I feel like this generation is like it's born with it, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys scary. don't know any better. So, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, we become a slave to technology, I guess, uh, which is good and bad. Um, so I wanted to ask you about Fallen Again. Now, you wrote and produced that yourself? Yeah. And how long did it take you to come up or finish the song from start to finish? Ooh, um, I wrote it like a year before the release. Mm. So, but I didn't work on it a year. Like I didn't do every day like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like in the bag, like somewhere on my computer, like, oh, maybe I'm gonna finish it later. And then one day I was like, oh, I'm gonna finish it. So maybe if you um, like add it all together, maybe it's like two months total that I worked on it. Okay. All right. So obviously you like producing um, mm -hmm. and Fallen is a good, a great song. Um, so we're going to pause right now and see if we can play Fallen. Nomi Shania, this is Fallen on the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Enjoy. I feel locked up, I feel 
feel fucked up Don't look at your socials today Cause you only might see them fake now Phones, socials, all the section Never ever looking up I have a like I'm trapped in this world With only people looking at their phone What is happening to this generation? Jokes, my life can be difficult. I'm not moving without any confirmation. I never had someone teach me that shit. Our ego so big, but our hearts are so small. Let's find our ego like it's supposed to be, and not make it kill us all. We'll continue our episode after this message. Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com Now, back to our conversation. All right, we're back. Nomi, thanks. Uh, that's a great song. I hope people uh, enjoyed and really listened to it because um, it has a real, some positive feedback in there. Um, so we was talking earlier and um we you know with this COVID 19 corona thing going on uh talk to us about um you know how that's affected perhaps the you know release of new music and touring and how that's affected you um well to be completely honest um it's actually kind of in my favor <laughs> because I'm just at home producing in my room, you know? So I don't really have to go outside to make a song, but yeah, to perform, you have, yeah, that's that's kind of annoying, but I don't really have real performances yet. Okay. So, but it's, it's like in the way of getting one, so yeah. Okay. Now, do you, um, do you do like the IG live and other performances online versus, um, you know, being out there well no not really. okay do <laughs> like, you plan I, on I doing do. ig live or how do you how do you how do you plan on uh promoting this great song yeah um yeah i did do a live uh, live stream for falling but i don't really have the fan base yet you know so there were like six people like watching <laughs> and i was like hey how you doing <laughs> This is my new track, and they were like, "I don't care." <laughs> so, but I don't mind. Like, it's fun to like practice, you know. Like, oh, I'm a I'm a big star. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So, with we were speaking earlier, and you, um, you know, everything going on, particularly with Corona, but also with um, the Black Lives Movement. You said you wanted to and kind of touch on that a little bit. What are your what are your thoughts on um, this whole worldwide phenomenon? It seems like with the death of um, George Floyd. Yeah, it's big also in the Netherlands now. People are protesting, and I'm really, I'm so happy. Like, I'm already a long time for the Black Lives Matter movement, but I I was really scared to be all open about it you know because sometimes people see it as like this oh you only like black lives you know that's why the all lives matter movement came and i hate it but so now i feel like i can finally speak up and be like you know everyone is talking about this so i can join and be like yeah black lives matter 
um, it's definitely crazy what's going on with the corona, like the combination of Black Lives Matter, the protesting and the corona. But I'm so happy that this is happening. I feel like this is super powerful and the energy that's around the world right now, I, I really feel it and I wish I could protest, but yeah the corona shit really hit me you know like i don't want to be there and be like yeah and, and the next day i'll have corona. <laughs> so i'll do it on my own way you know like i i'll i'll post stuff on instagram i'm really active on this you know and i really pray for the people who are getting killed that's so crazy and also just racism you know okay i really fight for that are they protesting in the streets in the Netherlands as well? Well, yeah, in the cities, in the big cities, they have like protests stuff going on. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's scary. Yeah, I noticed uh, the shirt you have on. Um, can we see that shirt again? <laughs> yeah, it's it's from uh, Tyler, the creator. Do you know him? Yeah. Yeah, his, his like merchandise, he has like golf wing merchandise. So, okay. I feel like it's the black Jesus dude, you know, like I'm really down for the black Jesus stuff. But um yeah, my dad is black also, like he is um from Curacao. Do you know Curacao? Yeah, that island. Yeah. Yeah. Um so it's really scary to you know, see what's happening in this world. Like people are really having this systemic racism stuff going on. Yeah, it's scary man, like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Half I my agree. family is black, so you know. Yeah, I mean it's it's great that um, the world um, is chiming in, and uh, which I was shocked by when I first saw all the countries that were, you know, having protests in the streets. Um, so that's a good thing, and it brings awareness to, um, you know, how people are treated. Um, so that's a good thing, and. Congratulations on being conscious um, <laughs> about what's going on. Um, so you're like the second person I believe I've interviewed from the Netherlands. Um, and you know, when you think about, you know, soul and R&B music, you don't really think about the Netherlands, but something's going on there. So tell us about the Netherlands in terms of R&B and soul music. Is it really big over there? Um. Yeah, I think it is big. Um, it's also like this small country, so the people who really like soul and R&B, you know, are very close. <laughs> I, I feel like the, the, the celebrities in the Netherlands are actually, they all know each other if, if, if it's from the R&B scene. Um, I, I, I can't really say like how it happened, you know, but I know that, you know, there are a lot of black people also here, but also like white people who really love R&B music. So yeah, it's just there. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, it's not surprising um, because, um, you know, R&B and soul music is big everywhere. I'm finding that out doing this podcast. I've interviewed people from all over the world and they seem to be influenced greatly by, you know, Motown and some of the other, um, you know, R and B artists from from the past. So it's not surprising, but it's it's also when you hear, oh, the Netherlands, I'm like, wow, okay, they, yeah. they like soul music in the Netherlands. Fantastic. So but By that's way, good. Yeah. The Netherlands is actually like really obsessed with America. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, heavily influenced by American uh, culture and music and like the the movies and stuff, like we just watch it in uh, in English, you know, everything. Like in Fr in France, they have everything like in French, you know. But here, everything is like the original. If we watch a Spanish movie, it's Spanish. If it's English, it's English, you know. So we really learn English a lot also here. I think everyone here can speak English. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so when this Corona COVID-19 thing is over, do you see yourself? Have you, or let me ask you, have you ever been to the United States? Have you ever been to the States? 
no, I wish. Okay. Well, maybe you can tour in the States when uh, this thing is over with. Where do you, um, well, where do you see yourself going? Um, well, I guess you really can't really answer that now with Corona because you're kind of homebound. But um, is the plan to tour eventually and get out there or, or well, where are you going with this, this music thing? I, I think my... Um, audience is mostly um, American I feel like because I'm influenced mostly by American people so I think I really want to have a tour in America but you know it depends on like if my music is wanted enough <laughs> right um, but also like if it's if my music will pop somewhere like in I don't know Japan I mean I love Japan so you know, I would go there too, but it really depends. So. Okay. All right. So you got Fallen. Are you working on any other new music or are you just trying to see how this one goes? I actually, before this interview, I was mixing my newest, like my next release. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to do every month a new release. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you want to... Do you have a name for this new song you're working on, or is it still too early? Oh, yeah. My next song will be called Don't Be Fooled. Don't Be Fooled. Okay. I like that. It's and when do you... my boyfriend. I mean. Okay. That's a whole other story. We're not going to get into that. But uh, <laughs> when do you anticipate that one being released? Um, I think on my birthday, June 20. Oh, so, so coming up. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm just curious, how long has Fallen been out? When was that released? Um, last month. Oh, last month. Okay. I think May 20. Okay. All right. And then you have uh, Don't Be Fooled coming out June 20th. Are oh, we going to look out for that? Um, where can people um, listen to your music? Um, yeah, you know, Spotify, YouTube, everything. Okay. I Do you have a video for uh, Fallen or? Like a music video? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. I Is that something you want to do or? No, I think I just want people to experience it like fully without having something to look at that's moving. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <Like> distract. <laughs> okay. Distraction. That's fine. Um, so we'll have links on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com of Naomi's, um, all her music and her, um, her information and where you can reach her at. Now you're on, um, I'm assuming all the social media, uh, IG, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Naomi, anything else you want to add before we, uh, before I let you get back? I know it's kind of late there in the Netherlands. It's around 10 ish here in, in california so yeah it's kind of late like i haven't eaten oh it's okay like, well i don't want you to pass out because you haven't eaten uh <laughs> anything else you want to add before we go um well don't do drugs no we're just kidding <laughs> well do them um if you want to but just say no man just say no <laughs> just say no to drugs yeah all right, Naomi Shania, thank you for joining us today on the Ring Back Soul Music Podcast. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and that's Naomi Shania, a uh, Naomi Shania, excuse me, on the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, and we'll be right back. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Miss Nomi Shania. You can find out more about Nomi on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. 
If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.